YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Today, I have a quick video for you guys on a topic that I get asked about a lot. The question being, are you slower with a duty style retention holster versus a non-retention holster on the draw? All right guys, so before we dive into this video, kinda wanna give you some background. Um, I decided to make this video because while out on the range, uh, doing some private lessons and even in some classes, uh, while running our secondary OWB holster, which is just a non-retention Kydex on the waistband holster, um, that people often see my draw, see me do like a sub-second draw in a class and say, oh, if you were running a duty style retention holster, like a Safariland ALS, you wouldn't be that quick. Um, and there's some truth behind that, uh, but there's more detail and I'll explain. All right, so to film this video, we used holsters from both Safariland and our company, QVO Tactical. Um, we used all on the waistband holsters, ours being the standard and secondary models that don't have any retention devices retaining the weapon other than just friction. Uh, and then for Safariland, we use all holsters utilizing their ALS, uh, which is their automatic locking system, which is released by a thumb lever that uh, pulls and grabs onto the ejection port. So needless to say, it's pretty obvious that if you're just running an open top on the waistband Kydex holster with no retention devices, yes, you're going to be quick on the draw. But that's only if you don't have any training or experience behind a duty style retention holster like the Safariland ALS series. I say this because after it was mentioned to me, I decided to just pop off my secondary holster, slide in a Safariland ALS on the QLS system, and then run the gun sub-second to demonstrate and show that you can be just as fast with a duty style retention holster if you take the time to train with it. 0 0.98 0.96 0 0.89 Now I wanted to give you guys a little bit of variation so I had Guy and Gabe come out to the range with me. You guys all know Gabe's been training with me for the last couple of years whereas Guy has just started training with us and this was actually Guy's first time ever running a duty style retention holster. All right, so you've never drawn from a duty style retention holster before, correct? No, sir. I'm using this? Okay. All right, so you see that there, this is called ALS, Automatic Locking Systems from Safariland. You see that the natural placement of your thumb is gonna come down and hit that lever, right? So right where you come in the C-clamp that grip, remember the last few courses we did where I taught you how to grip, come down the gun? So where your thumb's naturally gonna go, is gonna hit that lever. So as you rock it out, you see how the gun naturally comes out in your hand? Yes. So then you'll fold that grip all the way down, you'll push that thumb all the way down, and then red, finish your, your four-point presentation draw after that, okay? Uh, as you guys can see, the times are very similar, if not the same. Within tenths of a second, every single person, including me, from an outside the waistband Kydex open top holster versus a retention style RDS or ALS holster, the times were very similar. 0.97 0.98 1.29, stand. 1.66, stand by. So then on top of that, I wanted to take it a little further and let's do some retention and non-retention holsters with a clothing garment. So carrying the gun concealed on the waistband underneath a shirt or jacket and then showing the different draw times uh, versus open top kydex and having to utilize the ALS thumb lever. Point zero four. Point one one. Again, as you guys can see, the times are very similar. There's not a whole bunch of difference. It's not significant enough to tell somebody that they are slower. With the ALS system from Safariland, the controls are placed in a very intuitive location. Uh, what I mean by that is when you come down to get a purchase on the grip of your gun, your fingers are already in place where the controls are to release the lever to pull the firearm from the holster. With the placement of the controls, uh, it leads to no excessive waist movement. So your draw stroke is essentially the same with an open top Kydex holster and a Safariland ALS holster. 
So for somebody to tell you that, oh, the reason that you're faster is because you're running an open top holster, isn't necessarily true. Um, if that person is saying that to you, they just need to take some time and get behind their holster and run it more. And as you guys can see from our video, the times are very similar, if not exactly the same. And that is from a guy who's been utilizing duty holsters for 10 plus years versus somebody who's testing it out for the first time out on the range with us. So if you guys are wondering about the holsters that we use, I'm going to address it now because I know I'll get questions down below in the comments. Uh, the two holsters from our company are going to be the secondary on the waistband holster and our standard on the waistband holster. The holsters from Safari Land are the 6390 models. Um, one is the RDS version, which is for red dot sights, and the other is just the standard 6390 ALS, which is the one we use for the 1911 portion. Um, you can find those on their website. They have a holster configurator. Definitely check it out if you have any duty holster needs. Um, if you liked our holsters, you know where to find us as well. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Uh, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up down below. If you are new here, please consider subscribing as we post weekly videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh man, game the f out of it. Thought it was coming. Do it again.